you know when you start your makeup and then you literally do one eye and after that you're just like I don't want to do this no more because that was me today hey y'all so it has been about two weeks since I last uploaded my video where I stretched my ears from an 8 gauge to a 6 gauge well it's been two or three weeks somewhere around there it's been a little while um and not because I, my ears haven't been able to stretch it's just because I've been lazy honestly haven't felt like filming a video so yeah that's why but today I'm going to be trying to stretch my ears from the six gauge to a four so just continue watching and we'll watch me stretch my ears okay so I've already washed my hands washed my tapers washed the jewelry uh, the surface I'm working on is clean that is very important make sure everything is sanitized cleaned and washed you don't want to worry about any infections so I'm going to get my four gauge taper and I'm going to get some vitamin E oil and put on the taper. That way you always need some type of lubrication to, so the taper will just easily slide through your ear. And then so I don't have any jewelry in my ears right now, as you can see. And it has a little natural hole already formed. So this is just a four gauge taper. And then I'm just gonna go like that. And as you can see, which I suspected, it just, all the way naturally 100% just slid on through and I figured it was going to do that since I had waited a little couple more weeks than I had to. So my camera died which is why we're in a new location now. Uh, honestly I've already changed shirts and everything. Uh, nothing really else. I mean I put the tapers through, went through. These are what the four gauge looks like. You can see. And like as you see, it's a pretty decent size hole. It's already starting to form. Like, you know, it actually looks like my ears are starting to be stretched without jewelry. Uh, thank y'all for watching and I'll update y'all next week to see if I can uh, stretch to a two gauge.